rally later today. What would you be saying then at the rally, Natalie Bennett? Good morning. Good morning. Well, I'll be basically congratulating them on turning up for the UK. We will know that many of us get our wages
exciting. The FTSE will open after closing down 16 at 64.41. London's weather cloudy this morning, a mixture of sunny spells and showers this afternoon and highs of 6 degrees. LBC 97.3, your travel news is next. This weekend, sumptuous plums are three for two. Luscious limes are three for two. Raspberry bellinis three for two. Intense truffles, proud peacocks and even muddy puddles are three for two. It's the Dulux Let's Colour Weekend, and selected Dulux paints are three for two. The perfect time to buy some colour and make a fresh start. They're three for two as well. The offer runs until 31st of March at participating retailers. Terms and exclusions apply and vary between retailers as to sizes. Dulux, let's colour. Let's get to the travel. It's Ross Powell. I can't believe it. You have more problems in South East London. Thank you very much, Nick. Yes, just hearing this coming in now, actually, the A2 heading out of town at Kibbrook. There's a lane closed off just at the Kibbrook interchange because of a car which has broken down. It's causing delays back to the Sun in the Sands roundabout. Lane 1 there blocked off. M25 is queuing clockwise at Junction 5 for the M26, and there's very slow traffic on the M11 as he heads south from Junction 5 at Loughton down to Junction 4 at the North Circular. Now, it's east of town. The Limehouse Lake Tunnel crawling at the moment as you come in towards the Rotherhide Tunnel. There are course those new width restrictions in place and the A13 is also slot solid into town at Limehouse as is the highway. The North Circular very slow moving westbound as you head past Green Lanes and the A40 coming into town at Hangar Lane is very busy. No reports of any problems so far on the tubes. Keeping London moving, the next travel updates in 15 minutes. Sign up at powwownow.com. 